What's up guys? My name is Patrick Lyons and today I'm going to be talking about how I met Connor Murphy. If this is your first time on my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I put new videos out every week. You don't want to miss them. But yeah, over time I've gotten a lot of messages on like Instagram from people who just want to know how I know Connor or they're just like, oh, you're that guy from like the superhero video. And so I just figured I'd make a video that addresses how I met him. It's no coincidence that I'm putting this video out today on November 16th because I actually met Connor exactly a year ago today. Oh, really? That one, yeah, I saw that one. But I'm going to take a step back and kind of work up to that moment. I came across Connor's YouTube channel about two weeks before I actually met him. My buddy Anuj, who's just kind of a workout buddy, had showed me his channel, thought some of his videos were funny, some of them were super cringe, but uh, I enjoyed them. So the day I met Connor, I was actually standing outside on the UT Austin campus near the Gregory Gym, and I was just talking to a couple friends, and I see this guy walking by, and I make eye contact, and I looked away, but then I kind of did like a double take. It was one of those moments where it was like, I think I know this guy, but I'm not really sure how. And my brain just kept going like, how do I know that guy? Like, I, I swear I've seen him before, but I feel like I've never talked to him. And then I realized it was Connor. So then I turned back to my friends and I'm like, uh, I, I gotta go real quick. I can't explain now, but I gotta go talk to this guy. So then I like literally run after Connor. I'm like, hey Connor, uh, my name's Patrick. You don't know me, but I watch your videos. <laughs> and so that was how I met him. And then that kind of led to this moment in one of his Q&A videos. Oh, really? That one, yeah. I saw that one, and then I also saw the one uh, shirtless. I don't know. I've seen a bunch of them. I had a fake shirt. You yeah, a lot of fake awesome, ones. dude. Well, yeah. nice. My buddy Anuj, actually, like, he met you on a drag, and you guys both took your shirts off. No way. Hey, you can see him. Uh, he's in the extras. Yeah, I saw the extras one, yeah. Awesome, yeah. dude. Yeah, we're, we're filming a video right now. It's just for, like, my Q&A, but we're trying to make it fun, like, incorporate girls into it and stuff. Okay, so. cool. So, no big deal, but yeah. Yeah. Can I get a pic with you? For sure, dude. Yeah. Let's do it, man. Oh yeah. Damn. Nice bro. Awesome. Cool. It was nice to meet you, man. Yeah, good to meet you as well, Connor. Hey, is it cool if you guys are in like the this walk? Yeah, for yeah. sure. Awesome. Why not? So yeah, within like less than a minute of meeting Connor, uh, my shirt was already off, <laughs> which is just kind of funny. But if you're not familiar, he takes his shirt off in pretty much every video that he makes. So that's why that happened there. And that video on Connor's channel now has like a million and a half views. So I guess that means like one and a half million people have seen me shirtless, so that's cool or that's weird, I don't know. <laughs> I actually made a Facebook post the day that this whole thing happened, and uh, at the time he only had 300,000 subscribers. I say only because he has over a million now, but it's still kind of cool looking back. What I didn't tell Connor then is that I'm actually a fitness coach and a fitness instructor at my university. Like, there are a lot of people at UT who know me as the fitness guy, but I didn't mention that to Connor because I was just kind of in the moment. But the reason I say that is because in a way, meeting Connor was the final motivator I needed to start my own YouTube channel. I had been thinking about it for a while, but I didn't really have like the, the push that I needed, and watching his videos, seeing that it was possible, gave me that push. So I basically like put together a bunch of images that described my fitness journey throughout time, asked a bunch of friends how to do this whole video editing thing, research things on YouTube, and put together my very first YouTube video. It's my transformation story from beginning to present, or beginning to present as of last year. I wanted to share my first video with Connor, but I hadn't gotten his contact information when I met him, so I reached out to him over Facebook, sent him a link to the video, and basically explained that he had inspired me to kind of take that final jump. I didn't think anything would come of it because he still had a lot of you know followers and whatnot, but to my luck, Connor did see the message and he thought the transformation was pretty epic and he also wanted to get into workout sometime. So that was super cool. Uh, so literally like a week later, Connor came back to UT and we got in a workout at the UT gym, also known as Gregory Gym. What is up guys? So I'm about to head to the University of Texas to get in a quick workout at Gregory Gym because um, a fan actually hit me up on Facebook. It was a fan that I met while I was filming a previous video. Um, he said that I actually inspired him to start his own YouTube channel. Um, he actually made a transformation video with the same style, you know, that I used in my transformation video. So I thought it was really awesome. So I offered to get in a workout with him. One thing that's kind of crazy looking back on, and this is something that Connor has touched on before too, is just like Connor is so much more confident on camera than he was a year ago. Like he's just not the same uh, level of personality as he is now. Throughout the workout, Connor gave me a lot of form and technique advice in the gym, such as like focusing on the chest or the shoulders versus the triceps when you're trying to do that sort of thing. But he also gave me a lot of perspective on his own YouTube journey. Um, if you've seen the video, you might remember this, but check out this clip of something that he told me. 
So it's super tough to start at, on YouTube to start out, and I was doing everything I could to somehow get like the first little amount of exposure, even if it was just like a few thousand views. Yeah. Um, so I met this guy through Instagram. He, it's like the, the Z's Bra. He has a Z's Bra YouTube channel, the Z's Bra like Instagram page, and he actually messaged me and he's like, "Do you want to be part of this?" like you can post on our Facebook page and stuff. And I was like, sure. I posted my first Omega video. That's, you know the Omega video? That's, that's where everything blew up to, at the very start. And I posted that and went viral on Facebook. So I'm like, dang, this works. And then he asked me, do you want me to post on my YouTube channel? So I posted on his YouTube channel, or he posted on his YouTube channel. And it got like 2 million views in a few days. Yeah, yeah. From there, I gained my first 10,000 subscribers. Soon after 20,000. And then from there, it was actually pretty easy to, not easy, but if I made viral videos, they went viral. It was definitely very fortunate that I was in Austin at the same time that Connor was building up his channel because he was, you know, a friend and a YouTube connection for me to kind of help me build my channel. Then about three months later, Connor had a meetup in Austin, Texas to celebrate the launch of his new clothing line called Adonix. Hopefully tomorrow's pretty crazy, guys. Uh, let's see what happens, man. Three. I kind of got to be a part of that. People were challenged to have a push-up contest with me and if they won, they got like free Adonix merch. And I did end up winning that contest, which was pretty cool because that's been seen by like half a million people as well. Then around the same time as that meetup, both Connor and I put out a video about something called the ARX, which is like a futuristic workout machine. I'm telling you, this is like some alien stuff, man. We're about to make some alien games. They use this stuff on other planets, man. man. I actually like knew the guy who runs that gym named Holden, and so Connor and I got to try out this like alien technology that was like the best workout that we've ever had. <laughs> about to pass out. <laughs> <laughs> My man! Got him, coach. Oh, <laughs> Very good, Bro, dude. I was just close Way to passing out, I swear. <laughs> this is how we leave humanity behind, and we right. become like otherworldly other worldly creatures, man. Yeah, lots of stability involved here, too. Good, big push, big push. Here's where it's gonna get a little difficult. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> look, at his, look at Patrick's hands. He's trying to fly away. He's, he's trying to fly away. That's what the seatbelt's for, man. <laughs> Patrick lands on YouTube. Check it out. Got lots of videos just like Connor's. Just uh, don't take his shirt off. No. <laughs> no, I got a perfect way to describe his channel. He uh, he has fun with fitness, but he just acts like less of a douchebag than me. All right, so as Connor raises up, all of the deltoid is firing. This is the equivalent of a regular dumbbell lateral raise, except this time, you can only raise it up at a certain speed. This, this is the closest thing to pass. Oh, shit. From curls, guys. So that was pretty cool. And then finally is the video that most of you, if not all of you, have probably seen my superhero prank with Connor Murphy. What do you guys like better, Batman or Superman? Batman. Superman. Batman. Superman. Superman. Batman. Superman. Superman. Batman. Superman. Batman. Superman. Batman. So, I say uh, we pick up some numbers. How about that? Uh, did I just punch uh, that? Uh, oh my god! It's because we are them. <laughs> How about now? Let's go! <laughs> I proposed this idea to Connor because I felt like it kind of combined his style and mine, his being just like, you know, take your shirt off, kind of more outlandish, mine being more like just the fun, innocent side with like uh, push ups and stuff. But yeah, the video was like a blast to film. It's definitely my most viewed video now, and I have that video and Connor to thank for a large portion of um, the subscriber base that I have. So thank you, Connor, for that. But yeah, those are the highlights of, you know, how I met Connor and some of the videos that we have done together. So hope this gives a little bit more perspective on how that whole thing went down. Connor's in LA now. I'm still here in Austin, Texas for a couple more semesters, but just wanted to give you guys the full rundown. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll definitely be putting out more videos every week as always. So if you're not subscribed already, be sure to do that. If you haven't already, follow me on Instagram. Put out content there all the time, even more frequently than here on YouTube. And otherwise, I'll see you guys next time.